But these vegetable oils are high in an oxidized omega-6 called linoleic acid. Now, linoleic acid causes inflammation, damages the liver, and leads to further insulin resistance. As a percentage, this linoleic acid is leading to 6% higher insulin resistance than carbohydrates do. Uh, it's also high in phytosterols, which lowers our natural cholesterol uh, and causes all sorts of issues in regards to hormone production. Higher omega-6 intake uh, is associated with weight gain in both animal and human studies. And as a side note, it also increases leptin resistance. So these vegetable oils that we are cooking these foods in, they tell the body to store fat. So it's not just the carbohydrate, it's also the, the, the effect, the, the fat storage effect of these vegetable oils, which brings me on to lectins. So on that plate, we had a lot of pasta, amongst other things, which we'll go into a bit more detail in as well. But grains are high in lectins. You know, lectins bind to insulin receptors and they signal the body to store five times more fat than insulin does itself. So to put that into perspective, if we had a bowl of muesli, which contained 100 calories, or a piece of steak, which contained 100 calories, the, the fat storage insulin uh, and the lectin effect of binding to those insulin receptors is signaling the body to store five times more fat. So all of these factors are breaking down the whole caloric theory. It's not the calories that govern whether we gain or lose weight. Leptin is a satiety hormone. It tells us when we're full. But lectins block leptin. They block our body's ability to tell us that we're full. So we've just taken out pillar number one, purely through you know, that, that, that meal, that dish, that plate that I just presented is absolutely counterintuitive to losing uh, that body fat and lowering our body fat and increasing lean muscle mass. On to my next pillar. Um, so our body's ability to repair, rebuild, and recover. Again, we need quality nutrients, and they need to be bioavailable. And I'm going to show you why that plate, again, is absolutely counterintuitive. Again, grains are also high in phytic acid as well as lectins. Now, other foods contain phytic acid and lectins as well, and we'll go into that a little bit later on. But this is a study that looks at zinc absorption. Now, phytic acid blocks the absorption of zinc, iron, and magnesium. Zinc is essential for the production of testosterone. Iron is important for supplying oxygen to the muscle to aid with building and repairing. And magnesium is crucial for supporting muscle and energy production. And what this study shows is that when we consume oysters, which are incredibly high in zinc, and we co-consume it with corn tortillas, that zinc absorption is blocked by 100%. Zero zinc is absorbed. So the food that we consume with our nutrient-dense foods has a massive impact on our body's ability to absorb those nutrients. So when we are consuming foods high in lectins and phytic acid, they block the absorption of these things. Now, testosterone, you know, you may be thinking, well, we need testosterone to build muscle, but we all need testosterone. Even women need mm. testosterone. So this isn't just about building muscle. Uh, iron is essential and, and so is magnesium. This is, we, we all need muscle for, for, for life. So this isn't just a case of, of athletic performance. This is for health and well-being as well. But this is the effect the phytic acid has on the body. 